All right, we're going to look at how to create a report type that's going to show you unused dashboards. Um, and then, um, you know, from there, you'll be able to delete dashboards. And then you can look at our other video on how to mass delete reports to kind of clean up your uh, reports and dashboards area. So the first thing you're going to want to do is actually come over here to setup. We started in setup. From here, you can say report types. I'm going to build a new custom report type. My primary object is going to be, let's see here. No reports. So I'm going to say reports and dashboard components, and I'm going to say reports. You can write whatever description you want, really. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and store this in other reports. I'm going to start with deployed because I know what I'm trying to do here. So my first primary object that I'm looking at is reports. Down here, I'm going to pick dashboard components. And I'm going to say A records may or may not have related B records. And then I'm going to save. So now I've got my reports and dashboard components report type. I'm actually going to jump back into my app. I'm already on the reports tab. I'm going to create a new report. Here's my new report type reports and dashboard components. I'm going to say all reports created all time. And here I'm going to say dashboard. I'm going to group by dashboard. So I only have four reports in this uh, test org. And then I'm just going to make sure I have the last run. So what this does is when you build a report in Salesforce, let's say you're not using uh, the reports anymore. It, if you were to go to a dashboard that that report is placed on and refresh the dashboard, that counts as the last run for the report. So if you quickly want to see which dashboards you're not using, you can group by the dashboard, run the report, and then see what the last run dates are for that dashboard. And then you can, you know, simultaneously click into these dashboards and delete them based on the last run dates. You know, you could probably come up with some quick formulas and different things like that um, to, to uh, make this a little better, maybe group or roll up like the last, you know, the most or the last run report in that dashboard. But from a really basic perspective, if you've got a lot of dashboards and reports and don't know where to start, uh, I'd start with this report because once you delete the dashboards, you can then go in and use the mass delete on the reports, which will make sure that video is linked to this one. Thank you.